This is my pal, Pete the Bugman, um, who has a rucksack full of the most awesome invertebrates known to man. Uh, starting with this little beauty. Can you tell us about this, Pete? It's a whip scorpion. It's one of my favourite yeah. little beasts. It's yeah. also known as the also vinegaroon. Known as vinegaroon. I almost got in there in time. You got in there a bit before me. Yeah, indeed, because his yes. favourite yeah. trick really scared is to squirt vinegar at you. Although well, he's got this magnificent pair of jaws here, he never uses them to attack. Yeah. The only way he defends himself oh, is to squirt his vinegar out the back end. One of the uh, just is extraordinary looking at that. I mean, really, those there are pretty much like jaws. They look like pincers, don't they? Very much so. But it also, it's kind of, I mean, like the, the whip spiders, I guess, the front two appendages are, are much, much thinner. They're not used for locomotion no. at all, are they? He's just tapping around in front of him, almost like a, 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 a blind man with a stick. But there's, but there's one extra trick, isn't there, well, to those spindly legs? He's got little taste buds on the end of them, so uh, as he touches things, he knows exactly what it is. The moment he touches an insect, yeah, well, that's, that's it. That's it. They've ate it. <laughs> So I guess this would be kind of convergent evolution with antenna, really. Very much so, yeah. It's only the insects that have got antenna. So uh, if you haven't got antenna and you need some, you've got to find a way of making them. You can't just grow them out of nothing, but you can change something you've already got. So in this case, when you've got eight legs, you can spare a couple. So we've ended up with uh, the stuff of nightmares, although he's absolutely sweet. He's a lovely little teddy bear. Can't do any harm to anyone. Only Pete could describe that as a teddy bear.